हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस टूटोरियल आई वी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ बेसिकली यू कैन बिल्ड आउट अ सिंपल एप्लीकेशन ऑन गूगल मैप्स बेसिकली यू कैन कैलकुलेट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एनी टू लोकेशंस दैट यू मार्क ऑन द गूगल मैप लेट मी शो यू द वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल हेयर सो एज यू कैन सी दिट्स यू कैन सी इट्स अ वर्ल्ड मैप आउट देयर basically you can just scroll down or scroll in so let's suppose if you want to have a distance between any two locations that you mark on this map so let's suppose i go to a certain location here the distance will be in kilometer we will be using google distance matrix api in the background so let's suppose we have two locations out there you will see we will mark one location out there let's suppose i mark this location christ church if i mark this red box if i mark wellington here you will now see basically in the distance here you will now see 457 km so basically two locations i have marked it on the google map christ church and wellington and basically it is giving me the location between these two locations as i am marked this inside this info window you will see distance is equal to 457 km if i now basically cross check here if i go to google and let's suppose if i calculate the distance between so i think it give you the driving distance distance around about 4 440 km you will see that so it's very accurate here it is giving you 457 you can take any other example here let's suppose if you go to another country here let's suppose if you go to this one i need to calculate melbourne to canberra 680 km you will see melbourne to canberra it is 680 km so you you know you no longer need to type the country name or type the address you can just simply put the marker on two locations and then it will automatically give you the distance right here in the map itself which is 680 km it's a very nice little application if i now again cross check here melbourne to canberra melbourne to canberra round about 662 km you will see it is round about very accurate so all the source code guys of this application is given in the description of this video you can copy paste all the source code and basically you just need to replace your api key i will give you this api key you will see that so the process is very simple you can go to my blog post i have written a complete step by step blog post on this topic explaining each instruction in detail so first of all uh, you go to the full source code is also available simply copy to clipboard and paste it here and here the very first thing you need to do while you do this you need to copy paste your api key go go, go to google cloud console If you don't paste this API key, you will get this error right here for development purposes only. For countering this error, you just need to go to your Google Cloud Console, copy your API key. Don't copy my API key because I will delete this API key at the end of this tutorial. Simply paste it here, and once you paste it, now you will not see any kind of error. You will now see your own map. Put the location. You will give your distance here. You will see that. you will see so now to build this application guys it's very simple we will build it from scratch so as i already told you we are using google distance matrix api so first of all you just need to initialize a simple map inside the div section just give it a style here height of 1000 pixel width of 100 pixel and on load we will be initializing a function which is init map so right here inside this javascript we will write we will declare some variables here first of all for the map marker verb marker 2 and distance 
and then we will initialize this function guys init map so this will execute automatically and here we will initialize our map here which is google maps map and here we will pass the reference of the map here document element by id which is map and it takes the second option which is the zoom option you will put 8 zoom level and you will center your map here providing the latitude which is 37.7749 and longitude which is minus 122 so I think yes center just paste the center coordinate here let me paste it here that's all you can see that now basically guys if you refresh your application what will happen here basically it will load the map here at this location here and now once you click this map here nothing happens because we need to bind a on click event handler to this map here so whenever we click it we need to add, place the marker so we will be adding a event listener to this map which is click so whenever we click on the map so what we need to do so inside this callback function we just need to add a basically a marker so this can be equal to add listener sorry add listener so here we will put the marker if the marker is not on then we will simply say marker1 is equal to new google maps dot marker this is basically the method which is used here guys which is you need to give it the, give it the position of the marker where we need to put so we will get the position using event latitude longitude this event is passed here you can see so this will give the latitude and longitude and then we will put the map marker on the map and title will be simply marker1 that's all and let's suppose if you are placing the second marker so let me just do it now if I just refresh it so what will happen here if I refresh the application If I place the marker, you will see nothing happens. Okay, nothing happens. For that, what we need to do here, basically, we need to have a else block here. So inside else block, we will set the position, which is event dot latitude longitude marker to set map to null and marker 2 to also null So I think it's a very uh, good application so I think it's very simple for me to copy paste this code here and then explain to you what is happening. It's a very short little code here. So if you go to the bottom of the blog post you will find out all the source code. Simply copy that, paste it here and then basically you need to go to google developer console to paste your api key that's all and then open this inside you will see basically what is happening here you will see we are placing the markers here whenever we clicking on the map here you will see we are placing these red markers that you see right here so now to place these markers we are having this click event out there add listener method is there 
we are capturing the latitude longitude using this event object we are using this marker method to place the marker on the map this is basically the second marker we are placing and then we are using this method which is calculate distance which is executing it in the background so inside this method we are making use of this distance matrix service which is provided by google if you just search here google Dis distance matrix api basically it's a api which is provided by google which allows you to calculate the distance between two locations latitude longitude and then we are simply passing the marker one location marker two location you can also pass here air distance also but we are calculating the driving distance google maps and then it is this calculating the distance and displaying it inside info window which is in kilometer and then we are opening this info window automatically this is the overall application if you like this application then please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial